Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here and I was just sitting here and I was wondering what it would be like if Mr. Beast had an esports team. And uh, for anyone who doesn't know what esports team is, it's basically sports but video games. The same idea of like players and all that good stuff and like organizations, having these players that go to tournaments, that kind of thing. Anyways, this is what I actually came up with. Let me know. Okay, so first we have to talk about a killer custom logo, and of course it's, it's Mr. Beast, so like it, it really cannot be bad. Now at first, my sole focus is making a cool Beast type logo in order to actually complement and draw more aggressive contrast to Mr. Beast's usual typeface. And I mean, this typeface is a literal certified classic, I just want to make it more energetic. So with this quick sketch referring to the actual OG logo, I landed on actually keeping that expressive lightning in the E, but also carrying that into the T making so that actually felt less as an Easter egg and more like a celebrated thing when we move into digital branding. And to be honest, I think the text logo came out pretty freaking dope. And uh, obviously I couldn't help myself, so I hopped into Adobe, figuring out what a logo that will claim to be this Mr. Beast eSports icon. So keeping that in mind, also running very similar to the actual Mr. Beast gaming logo designed by Debonar, that way I actually capture a visual feeling that Mr. Beast already knows and enjoys. However, making the interaction of the lightning bolt and the panther at first glance be the first thing of course notice. And with a few mental booms later, <laughs> I ended up here. Oh my God, that's it. Oh my God. <laughs> Leaving us with a pretty solid start mining ad that leads with Mr. Beast's visual purpose first and a visual secondary difference from the actual previous logos with a new venture in esports which now prepares us for the actual visual social branding. And uh, I, think we, I think we got something pretty cool here. So of course we had to start off with a mood board. I wanted to actually make sure that these images had these visual points, energetic, but not childish, to the point, but not empty, followed by lightning, not thunder. And what does lightning, but not thunder mean? I have no idea, but we're gonna figure that out as we go. One of the things that immediately stuck out to me was the need to use lightning icons and patterns throughout the design. For one, it's safe, and it's also versatile with using different lightning bolts and like different directions to them, and also like different distortions. There's just so many possibilities. For this exercise though, I used two fairly obvious looking lightning bolts and wanted to actually find a way to keep the blue and pink a part of the actual branding at all costs, but also adding two new colors to the mix. I went ahead and chose purple because I wanted a tone that actually helped with the color hierarchy, meaning that I actually needed a darker tone to help combat the vibrant pink and blue. Although it's not hard to just keep it blue, pink, and yellow. However, though, using these colors and the lightning as they are now sets a standard for what the colors can actually be used for and also place a label on them through repetition. So in other words, I just put them all in the graphics so you guys can just see the, the possibilities. However, though, I think it ended us off with a really cool concept that lays out the ideas that I'd most likely, of course, minimize in separate occasions, but a lovely outcome regardless making sure that I kept in mind that in your face context, the to the point kind of feel you kind of look at with thumbnails and YouTube and that witty language and graphics that I feel would be a part of the social handbook. And uh, of course I had to wonder what it would look like if it was in motion and what, what emotions that are do with our objective words. So I called up a friend. Well, Sesso, I'm glad you asked. I'm George, motion designer for 100 Thieves, and when I looked at the key words and the design elements you sent over, I really gravitated towards the concept of energy. I focused on making the lightning appear almost as if it was vibrating, and I animated the typography to flicker on the screen. I wanted the animation to feel slightly playful to also match the color palette, so I animated any instances of typography that was lighthearted to have this subtle bounce to it. That way I can have little moments of playfulness without it overwhelming the rest of the animation. A part of me really wanted to add effects and glows to everything, but I decided to stay true to Sesso's usage of flat color and blocky shapes. Ultimately, I stuck to really simple movements that would let the design and the color speak for itself. So with the full days of work now gone by, this is our collection. From what I'd say is a pretty solid logo design that holds its ground in the Mr. Beast universe, to the awesome social graphics that invoke a completely new and different take on what esports graphics look like today, while also having that contrast in the world of motion as well to put everything together. So with all things said and done, let me know how we actually did in the comments just below and some things you might wanna add or maintain the actual branding if you were to do it yourself. So uh, that's all I got. Of course, don't forget to check out George in the description down below and uh, subscribe if you guys have not already. I love you guys, appreciate you guys. Set some HQ out. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive and stay freaking productive guys. Later, much love, peace and hope you guys enjoy some story time.